Our goal today is to use a National Instrument multi-sim simulation software to find the voltage at each of the circuit nodes in this simple resistor network. We have two voltage sources, a number of resistors, and our goal is to figure out what the voltages are at each of these nodes. Uh, we can do this circuit fairly easily using the node voltage method, but let's verify. Uh, let's try this using multi-sim. Okay. When you open up multi-sim, this is the window that you get. Your design hierarchy shows up here. Some of the tools like the function generator, oscilloscopes, uh, other tools such as spectrum analyzers, uh, measurement probes are on the right hand column right here. This is the standard uh, parts menu. Uh, here is this one is to place a source, so either a voltage source or a current source. If I click on that, I get a menu or a choice of what to place. Uh, let's close that for a second. We have resistors, capacitors, basic elements that we'll use. So if I scroll down, I see a resistor, a capacitor, an inductor, uh, most of the elements that we'll use in this class. Then we also have other options for diodes, transistors, other analog parts. Uh, so let's get started with uh, trying to draw this circuit on multi-SIM. First we'll draw the circuit by placing different 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 resistors and 2 voltage sources. So let's get started. And so I need 2 voltage sources. So let me go grab a DC power say OK. So I'll place that right here. And I'll place another DC power on the right hand side. Now the first DC power for our design is 8 volts and the other DC power is 2 volts but the second 2 volt power has negative on the top and positive on the bottom. Okay, So double click on it to change the value. You can change the magnitude by saying 8 volts. Say OK. This one is going to be 2 volts, say OK. And to rotate it, right click, and I can say flip uh, vertically. So I have positive 2 volts on the bottom, positive facing up. Now let's, let's grab resistors and place them in the circuit. So I have resistors, uh, resistor, and the value of the resistors are either 4 ohms or 8 ohms in that circuit. So let's we can place a any resistor first. So let's just place the structure first. 1 say OK to 2 resistor okay. 3 resistor okay. 4 okay. and 5 okay. So we'll we're done placing all the resistors so let's rotate this right click rotate 90 degrees this one right click rotate 90 degrees so let's now we have one two three four five resistors let's go figure out what the values were so let's take a look at the values 4 ohm 4 ohm and 8 ohm on the top so let's go and do that let's change that to 4 ohms, double click on that, 4 ohms, this was 8 ohms, this was 4 ohms, this was 8 ohms. So now we have all the elements that we need, so let's go ahead and start wiring. To wire, we're going to use the wiring tool. This is the bus. So in this case, we don't really have a bus, so we're just going to use a simple uh, wire. To start a wire, if you if you place your cursor at one end of an element, you see the cursor change from an arrow to a wire. Single click with the left button of your mouse and take it to where you want to end it. Double click. Single click double click to end See, okay. single click double click to end 
single click, double click to end, say OK, single click, double click to end, single click, double click to end, Now, let's go back. We can move the wires around, make them look nice. We can. All right, so we've wired the circuit exactly as we wanted. We have the 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, and we have everything wired correctly. Now, in this case, this node is for node number 4 that's node number one, that's node number two, that's node number three, and that is node number five. So what we want to do is figure out what the voltage is. In this circuit, before we ask multi-sim to simulate and tell us the node voltages, we need to add a reference ground. So let's add a ground. So go to place source. There under place source, you should see ground. Say OK. Okay, let's place a ground on node 5. Notice that as soon as I place a ground, the number node 5 changes its name from 5 to a 0, meaning it's a ground node. Okay. So next, let's do the simulation. To simulate, click on simulate. We need to set up the simulation. So analysis, what we're going to do is for this example, we're going to do a DC operating point. So let's do DC operating point analysis. And what we would like to see is the voltages at the different nodes V1, V2, V3, and V4. You can also look at the current through the different resistors. Current through R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. And if you want, you can also calculate the let's 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 just look at the power consumed in resistor R1. So let's say, so we've set the simulation up, say OK. And once you have the simulation set up, you can press on the Run button. And you can stop as needed. So let's go back, Simulate Analysis, DC Operating Point again, and say Simulate from here. When you do that, it produces a table like this with all the DC values. Now if you look at what was produced, so let's see. Voltage at node 2 is 1 volt. So I have, let me minimize this just a little, little bit. Voltage at node 2, so this node right here is 1 volt. Voltage at node 1, so that's this node right here, is 3 volts. Voltage at node 4 better be 8 volts because the other side is connected to 0, so that's given as 8 volts. And voltage at node 3 should be minus 2 volts because the ground is connected to this side. Uh, if we look at the current through resistor R1, current through resistor R1, I guess uh, 1.25 amps. So let's look at this. This is 8 volts on this side. Node 1 is 3 volts. So the total voltage drop across R1 is 5 volts. 5 volts divided by 4 ohms is 1.25 amps. So if you look at the current through R1, you do have 1.25 amps. Okay. So this is a quick and easy way of doing a DC operating point analysis. Now if you were to change the reference node from 0 to somewhere else, you could easily do uh, the analysis again and see how that changes the node voltages. Uh, Regardless of where you put the reference point, the voltage across each of these resistors and the current through each of the resistors should not change. Okay. So